after three episodes is finally going to happen roy's big debut in pokemon horizons it looks like this is going to be a very special introduction to him and his special treasure he holds a brand new preview trailer and hypnosis has been released for episode 4 giving us our first look at what's going to come in this unexpected new beginning the title of Pokemon Horizons Episode 4 is A Washed Ashore Treasure. It will air on the 28th of April. So everyone, together, let's break down all of this new information about Episode 4. Starting us off, we've got the Sypnosis, which reads as follows. When the Rising Fault Tackler's Blimp breaks down and makes an emergency landing on a remote island in the Kanto region, the ship's Pokemon Fake Coco ends up disappearing without anyone noticing. Liko and Sprigatito disembark on the island in order to search for it. Meanwhile, a boy living on the island, Roy, spots a mysterious Pokemon he's never seen on the island before. So now that we have a bit of context to what's going on in this episode, let's move on to the preview. The preview opens up with Liko wearing a brand new outfit, looking at herself in the mirror. Of course, this outfit has been promoted in numerous posters for the start of Horizons and now seeing it in episode format, it looks very cool. How come Liko wasn't wearing it in the last three episodes? Well, when she's not in school, this is what she will wear. As of last episode, Liko has become the newest member of the Rising Vault Tacklers, meaning she'll be attending online school from now on. I also assume that the Rising Vault Tacklers got her that new outfit. Right after this, we see Freed, Captain Pikachu and Charizard in the sky. I assume the reason why they're flying in the sky is to be able to scout out if they can find the lost Fue Coco. Just like how Freed in the last episode flew around to find Liko Sprigatito. Here he is. In the next shot, we see the boy Roy up on a hill by a tree. He is creeping up on Fue Coco as if he's trying to capture it. And Fue Coco notices this, gets scared and runs away. Roy tries to stop it, but he fails. Quickly after this, we see Fue Coco bouncing on the ground and running away from Roy, who is chasing after it, wanting Fue Coco to stop. I can already tell this scene is going to be pretty funny animation and story-wise, because that Fue Coco is full of energy, man. This also brings us back to the hypnosis of the episode, which states, Roy spots a mysterious Pokemon he's never seen on the island before. Because of that, it makes me heavily believe two theories. My first theory is that the mysterious Pokemon Roy finds and has never seen before on the island is in fact Fue Coco. Because Roy lives on a remote island in Kanto, so the chances of him even seeing a Fue Coco in real life are very slim. And we don't even know if Roy has any internet connection to be able to learn about other the Pokemon that aren't Kanto ones, like Paldea Pokemon. However, here comes my second theory. What if the mysterious Pokemon is none other than the legendary Pokemon, Rayquaza, more specifically the shiny one, which we have seen a bunch of times, and I'll get to why this could be very possible later on. We continue on with the preview and we see the Brave Asagi ship slowly descending into a rocky area close to the ocean. Like the hypnosis said, the reason why the ship is descending is because it's said that the airship has to make an emergency landing, so this is probably where that takes place. The cause of the ship breaking down could be due to a random fault that happens in episode 4. However, I have reason to believe that maybe the explorers might have an input in the reason why they have to suddenly land. In episode 3, a Mephio commanded Zer to throw a strange device onto the airship while all of the crew members were busy. Yes, I said busy, but Ludlow, bro, he was meant to be keeping watch of the ship, but no, this man was too busy doing his fishing. Anyways, at first I thought the device could possibly be a tracker, which would make a ton of sense from the explorer's point of view because then they'll be able to track Liko and the others wherever they go in the Pokemon world, so they don't even need to rush to get the pendant today. But there may be, and the chances of this are slimmer, but what if the device thrown on it was a bomb, causing the ship to have to emergency land? Also, if the device blew up, it would allow for the explorers to know where the crew are if it has some sort of tracker in the explosion. If everything I'm saying is right, then man, Amethyo is coming here right now because on this remote island, they have nowhere to run. Back to the preview, we see a bunch of Kanto grass and bug type Pokemon chasing after Liko and Sprigatito through a forest. This really reminded me of the times where Ash and his friends always used to get chased by Pokemon through forests. The reason as to why the two of them would be on their own here is because the hypnosis stated that Liko and Sprigatito disembarked on a journey in order to search for the missing Fue Coco. 
So, how will they escape, you ask? Well, the boy Roy has come to the rescue, as this is the meeting of our two protagonists of Pokemon Horizons, and I'm very excited for this. Roy, who is on top of a tree, puts his hand out to Liko, of course because he knows how to save her from this messy situation. Liko does in fact accept Roy's help, and it also seems as if Liko has noticed the fake Coco that is on Roy's shoulder. This is probably the one they're looking for. We then see both Liko and Roy jumping through the trees to escape. This reminded me of something Ash and Iris would do, which I love. It seems as if the pair managed to get away safely as we see Liko, Roy and Fei Coco in a different location and the two heroes are speaking. As we can clearly see, Roy is spinning something on his finger. This of course is his special treasure. Just like how Liko has a special pendant, Roy has a special Pokeball, which no one has ever seen before in the Pokemon world and in real life of course. It looks as if this is where Roy will explain to Liko as well as us as the audience how this boy managed to find this special item and it also concludes our preview. There is a ton to take away from episode 4, but so far, I can say this episode looks and sounds really good. I believe episode 4 is mostly going to be a build up and focus on Roy, his character and him meeting Fei Coco in the first half. And in the second half, we will see him meet Liko for the first time and most likely focus on Roy's special treasure. Earlier, I stated how we could possibly see Shiny Ray Quasar in this episode. And why I said that is that in a special preview trailer we got about a week ago, we actually see Shiny Ray Quasar flying down from the sky and it looks terrestrialized. In my previous video breaking down this special preview, I came up with a theory about how this very unexpected legendary might fit into the story and it is all in the palm of Roy's hand. Yes, Roy's strange Pokeball. My theory is that Roy might actually have Rayquaza in his strange Pokeball and by mistake he lets it out of the Pokeball not knowing something's inside. Because of that, Roy will have to go on an adventure with Liko and the Rising Vault Tacklers to find it again and return it back into his Pokeball. This theory could be very off and maybe Rayquaza just happens to be in the area. I feel like Liko's special pendant could have got its attention to come here and Roy once seeing it will want to catch shiny Rayquaza in his special Pokeball. Now, speaking about my theory, in a scene from the New Horizons opening, which looks amazing by the way, it showed Roy holding his strange Pokeball. A big glare of light covers his face and his eyes are glowing amazed by the sight of something. We zoom out to see Roy who looks to be on a beach in front of a huge circle of terror-like light, piercing through some clouds. So, maybe this scene will happen after Roy accidentally lets up Rayquaza or as Rayquaza makes his big appearance. All of this could happen in this episode at present, meaning that both Roy and Liko witness this together. Or this could be a flashback from a previous time and Roy is explaining what happened to Liko as we see the two talk in the preview. My final option is that all of this will happen in episode 5, the episode after this, which will be a major episode. Probably where the explorers will come into play and realize that they need Roy and his strange Pokeball as well. Something of that level of writing because Pokemon Horizons always finds a way to make things go serious mode. And I love that. Just imagine if a Mephio is after both Roy and Liko. So, we do know that Shiny Rayquaza will appear. The big question is, is it going to be in this episode or episode 5? Is it a flashback or is it present? There's a ton of questions I have and I know a lot of you have as well. But hopefully you can take some of my theories into your own as we wait to see what will unfold in episode 4 of this series. I can't wait to see Liko and Roy finally meet each other. This is going to be a lot of fun. Let's get it. If you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe for all new future Pokemon Anna related content, like my weekly videos on Pokemon Horizons.